Alright, if I start with the front, there's no going back. Ouch! Whoa! So today I'm gonna do something kind of kooky, kind of wacky. I'm a funny guy. Ah, uh, get me a little kooky! I am going to cut off my hair that I have spent three years growing. It's like pretty much almost to my ass. Let me see if I can get a picture. And um, before y'all cry in the comments. I was rooting for you, we were all rooting for you, how dare you! <laughs> I've actually been thinking about this for weeks, like a long ass time. Um, it's not something I took lightly, and actually I was waiting for a good time astrologically to cut my hair because I had started to think about it. It was like not a good time to take like new initiatives and projects. So I've been like waiting and waiting and waiting. And I think tomorrow's a good day to do it. I looked up on Cafe Astrology, like the astrology for that day. And it was good. So what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to wash my locks really, really good because... I'm actually saving my locks in case I choose to get them separated. So the whole reason I wanna cut my hair is because some of my parts are really, really big. Like this is a good example right here where this is one lock, but it takes up a really long space. And it's a lot of tension on my scalp. I've always had sensitive skin, like a sensitive scalp. And the tension baby was terrible. Um, also, on the back of my head, I only have about four locks and whenever I put my hair into a like a uh, ponytail like up here is getting yoinked back here is getting yoinked my hair is so heavy that when I put it up in a ponytail it's just coming down like it's just coming down it's been kind of frustrating to deal with my hair also I had one lock that broke <laughs> as you can see it's really short in comparison to the rest of my hair. I just want to redo my sections. I want my locks to be a lot more thin. Um, I want to be able to rock more hairstyles. I want to be able to do more things. Like, I kind of want them to be more so like this instead of this. Like, do you see how big of a difference? <laughs> how big of a difference in size my locks are? These big chunky locks are not fun for me to deal with. gonna be using Lush's shampoo bar and I'm also going to be using a tea tree shampoo that's really helped with my hair um, I've been dealing with a lot of dry itchy scalp and I realized last night that the oils I was using was actually probably making it worse because it's inflammation probably from yeast came down with a big old Diane yeast infection <laughs> like yeast and putting oils on it was not helping. It was actually making it worse. So let's wash this hair, this beautiful hair. And um, we're going to let it dry fully before storing it so that if I do choose to find someone who can take my locks and cut them in half and reattach them to my scalp, that I still have the chance to keep this hair. Um, Cause it is quite beautiful. Let's get into it. Okay, it's the next day. My hair is fully dry. I have my emotional support boyfriend. And uh, let's do this, shall we? Oh my god. Is it gonna focus now? There we go. This is also my favorite. <laughs> All right, if I start with the front, there's no going back. Ouch. Whoa. Look <laughs> how short it is. Well, like I said, there ain't no turning back now. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, it feels good. It looks crazy, but it feels good. <laughs> good run, huh? It was a good run. This is like my fourth big chop, so. Ooh. Oh. oh, this feels nice. <laughs> scalp is crazy we agreed it's a sensation we haven't had in three years and it's time for me to rinse out my hair and we'll see what the curls are giving after three years you can leave us in peace with all of these niggas be on you i'm just saying i can be that you call and you talk to girl I'll share my world with you if you gonna waste your time Don't close your eyes to get away 